hey what's up welcome to another video so in this video we'll add one more feature to our uh, web forum website so you can find that series uh, called building web forum with laravel so uh, what we'll do in this video is uh, we'll just filter all of the result uh, by these categories so currently this is just dummy uh, we cannot filter uh, all threads related to php python so um, we'll uh, first we'll build a category table so i'm thinking of calling it tags rather than category also uh, after creating that table uh, now i will do is i will just place that field in our form so currently we have this type field uh, it is uh, unnecessary for now we are not using anything so instead of type we'll use tags okay also uh, we'll set up a uh, relationship between uh, tags or uh, categories and thread so uh, one thread may have many tags or category so uh, let's call it uh, tags rather than category so i will go to uh, categories dot blade and just call it tags so that uh, one thread may have multiple tags uh, also uh, we'll set up the relationship between tags and threads so one thread can have many tags and uh, for one tag there might be many threads so for php tag uh, there might be a lot of threads related to php okay so uh, let's first add one field here so let's go to uh, create thread create view so you can find this code on github so the link will be in description okay so uh, we'll uh, remove this type field so instead we'll just convert it into tags so that will be uh, select field so we'll call it tags and this will be multiple and options uh, will be coming from database or now just type in uh, some dummy okay let's give it id uh, tag and we'll use a plugin called this selectize.js to make it look slightly nicer okay i'll uh, reference its cdn so let's search for selectize.js cdn okay i'll reference this uh, main version so just copy it let's go to layout front and i'll just include it uh, and let's go to uh, create dot blade and we'll create a new section for our js okay we want a uh, selector something like this so that we can search for tag and we can get like these options okay we just need to do uh, call the selectize method on it all right so let's see how it goes okay so i have added uh, this tag field uh, so that i can insert multiple tags so uh, for example i can call one uh, this one tag uh, to generally i can source through tags and insert multiple tags so we'll fix css later for now it is okay uh let's uh i've added this on my create dot plate uh, i have in, uh, added this new field uh, i've included this uh source for uh, select js cdn so i have included this uh, js in my create plate also uh, you just need to call the select as method on the id of the your field also you need to include uh, css selectize css i've included it through cdn yeah you can add your js just here as well but yeah, i just added it on my blade file here so that it will only load for this view only 
so next we'll create a text table uh, also we'll create a relationship between text and thread so let's do that open up terminal and run up php audition make migration i'll call it create text table okay so now let's go to that migration create text table okay it will have just one field uh, string and it will be name of tag okay let's migrate that php artisan migrate okay here we go all right so i've created uh, three dummy data in tags so that will be okay for now so here I'll also create model PG artisan make and let's call it tag okay let's define our relationship here so guarded empty means none of field are uh, guarded so all field in this text table can be fillable so let's find a relationship and i will call it threads okay so let's define same relationship in our thread model uh, we'll call it tags belongs to many tag all right relationship set uh, also we need to create a new table uh, that will be pivot table in which we store uh, we map a thread to tags so php artisan make migration create tags thread table okay so here our uh, naming should be like this alphabetical order tag and thread so first letter same tt uh, but second letter a so it comes first yeah so uh, if you follow this convention you don't need to alter uh, much in your migration and other here so if you don't want to use this convention you need to specify here uh, name of table like thread tag all right so currently we are using a uh, calling convention so we are using uh, the model name tag and thread so tag thread so it will have two field integer all right so we created two field thread id and tag id in our tag thread uh, table so let's migrate it as well all right that's done okay so now with our relationship set uh, yeah let's first populate these tags from our db so let's go to our categories dot blade okay so we'll loop through one and populate everything so for now we can do uh tags all as tag mm, then we can do and for each tag name okay it's just uh tag sorry about that and we need to import it okay so uh that is okay for now yeah we can uh just load it just share this tags to all view uh by doing uh, view share so for that let's go to uh, app service provider and inside boot you can do view share and key will be tax and this will be app tag all yeah you can just use tag i guess yeah okay now what we can do in our view uh, that is now in category start plate let's close everything else we can just do like tags 
all right so that's it certain throw okay view not found let's go to service provide um, provider and import this view facade so just below here okay yeah that should work just fine for now uh, what we'll do is uh, just create uh, entry in our DB when uh, user selects this tag we want to insert this in our DB so currently we are storing thread but uh, we want to populate our pivot table and according to relationship we need to populate everything let's go to threads uh, thread controller and we are storing that in our store so store is handling that so this will create a new entry in our database so we might need to slightly modify this so uh, this will create a new entry in our threads table so from here let's assign this to thread and now uh, let's do a uh, thread and uh, now we'll call the relationship uh, called tags in thread so tags and attach so this will uh, insert the data in our pivot table so attach from here we'll get a uh, request tag tags I think so which will come from our create thread create yeah so these tag so whatever user selects will be inserted inside that so here also we can loop through table and yeah so let's do that for each stacks as tag and for each and we don't need we just need one and here will be okay so let's test uh, we'll name it we can now submit okay so uh, this is uh, error related to that capture so uh, for now we can just disable that all right since uh, there was type field previously so let's change that to tag tags okay it's uh, tag so let's let's make it tags so since we are uh, this field is not available on thread so that's why it is giving error so now it is okay so once more okay so here we should use tags once more yeah this time it created so let's go to index page yeah so here we go and let's check in database yeah so thread number seven has tag id one and two yeah so one and two will be laravel and psp so that worked okay so now let's filter uh, according to tags so if you go to categories dot plate and yeah so uh thread dot index and here we'll pass a query string like uh tag mm, yeah let's call it tags and the name of tag will be okay tags uh, will uh, pass id and it will be tag id so you can see over here just yeah tags one tag two tag three so uh, we'll listen for that in our thread controller here so uh and we'll uh we'll then filter it so here we'll check if uh request uh request 
has a tax so if there is query string tax then we will filter accordingly so let's inject that request here okay so uh, if request has tax so uh, first we'll find tag so tag and then uh, threads will be threads so this threads uh, relation is defined in tag model so that will grab all the threads related to this tag all right okay so let's test that let's click on laravel uh, so we got one yeah yeah we can place one link for all thread as well and we remove string and just hard code all threads yeah that should work refresh all threads yeah so by default we get all threads when we click on laravel we get laravel specific thread similarly for php okay so this is about filtering this is simple filter uh, in our next video we'll add some advanced filter uh, so that we can filter by uh, users specific thread and other more options so i will see you in the next video bye